come along and learn with me about the floating blue community. Hi, welcome to part one of the floating blue community. Guardians of the Deep learning experience. Hi, my name is C. Sally and I'm a marine biologist and conservationist. Hi, my name is Teacher Megan and I am an educator and conservationist. Hi, I'm Junior Ranger Tom. I like finding about nature. In these lessons we're going to be exploring the sandy beaches of Kormaki in Cape Town, South Africa. Before we start, see how many of these quiz questions you already know the answer to. At the end of these sessions, you will be given the same quiz to test how much you have learnt. What's a floating blue community? So Junior Ranger Tom, to answer your question, the floating blue community is a collection of plutonic organisms living in the open ocean. That means that they float on the sea surface and they're also blue. We encounter them when they are washed out together during strong onshore winds. In Kormaki, that tends to happen mostly during winter when the westerlies blow. Pluston are organisms that live in the very top surface layer, where the air meets the water of an aquatic environment. In this case, the sea. Okay, so we are at Kormaki Beach. Um, nice northwest of blowing. So we are out looking for um, the floating blue community that washes up. These organisms fall within three different phyla. Blue bottles, blue buttons and by the wind sailors are from phylum Cnidaria, defined by their cnidocysts, also known as stinging cells. That's so cool! Boy barnacles and columbus crabs are arthropods, while the violet storm snails and sea swallows are mollusks. This community includes filter feeders, stinging hunters and their predators. We will talk about these species, covering any cool features that they may have, starting with the blue bottle. You are now ready for part two, blue bottles! Click here for part two. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more educational videos.